Welcome to part two of Pandas tutorial. In the previous video, we have seen what Pandas is and how we can create a data frame in Pandas and also how to import a flat file. In this video, we will learn about the Pandas data frame and series. We will also see their respective properties. So what is a data frame? A data frame is a two dimensional data structure containing rows and columns. It can contain data of different types such as string, integer, float, null values, etc. Data frames is represented into a tabular form. So let us jump over to the Jupyter notebook and see. So I am I have opened my Jupyter notebook here and I have imported pandas as PD. So after that, I have borrowed this code from my previous notebook, which we discussed in the past part one. And here, let me run it. And if I see, then you can see that we have our data here. So this is a data frame and if you want to check type of data then we can see that it is a data frame. So we can also see that it has rows and columns. So, so basically it is a data frame. Okay. Now let's say uh, we want to see the shape of this data. So we will write data.shape and uh, you can see that it is showing 506 comma 14. So it has 506 rows and 14 columns. Okay. Now let us say we want to see the top five or top 10 records of this data set. So how, we, how can we do that? For that, we will simply say data.head. And if we, if we just run it this way, you can see that we are getting five records. Let us say we want to see more than five records. How can we do that? If I type an argument here and pass 10, then you can see that we can see 10 records here. So now you can see, you can say that I don't want to look at top records. Let me show the bottom records. How can we do that? So we can do that as data dot head, data dot, sorry, data dot tail. And let me type 10. So now you can see that these are our, the bottom 10 uh, records. Okay. So one more cool feature we have, like we want to uh, see the summary of the data, then how can we do that? So let's say we want to print out the statistical summary of this data set. So for that, we have a command data.describe. If I run it, you can see that now it has printed a, a summary of the data set. So for variable crim, we see that we have total 506 record. Mean value is 3.61, standard deviation of 8.6, minimum value is this, 25th percentile value is 0 0.0824, and similarly the maximum value is 88.97. So how do we confirm it? Let us see, I just want to make sure, I want to be double sure. How can I do that? So we can do that as data.min, if I type data.min, not data.min, let me see, I want to see for a variable crim dot min. And now you see that it is 0 0.00632 and if I go here and I see the main value then you can see that it is showing as 0 0.00620 and it is similarly the same way here. So let us say I want to see the max value dot max and if I run it it is 88.9762 and uh, if I see here, it is 88.9762. Similarly, we can also check the standard deviation. And the mean price also. Now, let us say I don't want to see the all the records or all the columns of this data set. I want to focus on these three variables. So how can I do that? So I can just write down data and I can pass a list of the columns which I want. So let us say I want Krim, Jaden and Indus. Okay, I need to pass it here. 
did I make some mistake? Okay, it needs to be in double braces because I am passing a list here. So if you see, we have now reduced our data, or we have just taken a subset of our data. Not all columns. We have just selected a three columns here. Okay. Let's say we want to rename the column one of our column name. So how can we do that? For that we can just type rename command and we will pass columns and they will pass the dictionary so let us say we want to rename the cream variable and i want to rename it as crime rate and if i run it now so you can see that cream rate cream has been renamed to crime rate and now if i want the change to persist i will just simply write in place is to true so now it, it what it will do that it will affect our original data so seems like i have some issue here so let me correct it in place okay i forgot to close it here and now if i write in place equals to true and then if i run data dot head then you can see that I have renamed my column to cream rate. One more thing about pandas is that we can print a report of our data set. To do that, we need to import profile report. So how can we do that? So to do that, we need to type from pandas underscore profiling import profile report. And now what we can do is we can just simply do report equals to profile report and then we can just type the data here and it has run and now what we can do we can just write it to our data our directory so we can say report dot two underscore file and now we can provide output file and let me name it report underscore html so it may take some time to get generated so it is now being created so you can see that we have generated the report and if i open it so you can see that it has printed the summary statistics of our data frame so you can see that we have here number of variables, number of observations, total numerical variables, total boolean variables, and then it has uh, printed the histogram and the summary of the of a part of every particular variable in our data set. So here it is saying that district count unique missing values are zero, zero missing percentage, and similarly if you go down you can see that it has printed for every variable it has printed the summary statistics and if you go further down you can see that it has plotted the interaction plot and uh, if you go further down you can see i think it is still being generated or either not being generated correctly so it what it does it does print the it does print the correlation plot also so I'm trying to see how can I find it. Okay. So let me open it again. Okay. So for some reason I cannot see the interaction plot but you can try and let me know if you are also facing this issue. Usually what happens that it does print 
the correlation correlation plot here and if we click here we it directly takes us to the correlation plot meanwhile i will look into it and i will definitely let you know so for this video uh, we have discussed what pandas data frames are and uh, what about the series if we say that let us say that we extract a variable from our data set so let me say from data set i now extract a column a single variable so let me say i have extracted index from here and if i just say okay then if i say that what is the type of it then you can see it is a series so as i told you earlier a series is nothing but a but you know a single variable of your data frame so when we combine multiple variables and it is, then it becomes a multi dimensional data or we can say it is a data frame this video if you find this video helpful please like this video and subscribe my channel thank you very much